Hi guys! Hello everyone! So during our today's tutorial, we're gonna paint this cute flamingo in watercolor style. And it's so simple, and I'll teach you how to make this blurry effect uh, in a reflection in the water. So, let's do that step by step, one by one, and let's go! And guys, also the sketch I will share with you in the description below, so if you want to try to paint same painting, please go ahead, download it, and I wish you luck with your own artworks. And we need to create new layer, and after that, and guys, the picture that we're gonna paint in this one, this flamingo is so, so lovely. So. I have a new layer and I will go to my new watercolor brush set that I created recently and I will go and grab Blue Perfect Edger and Smudger If you like, we can lower the opacity of our sketching layer yeah, cool. And as a blending tool, I'm gonna use also Blender from my brush set. And that will be Pool Perfect Edger and Smudger as well. So, perfect. My next step is I'm gonna go and grab lighter color. Because we have reflection here from the sun. And same. So here we have light side. Well, good. Now let's return to pink color. And as you see, if you want to grab some color and put it uh, on the top of other color, it can help you to create this beautiful watercolorish look, especially if you use later blending tool, like what we are doing right now. And here we have black color, but we will grab dark purple, because in the nature we actually don't have clear black color. So it can be dark purple, dark black, uh, dark black, dark purple, dark green, dark blue. So my suggestion when you paint this picture, don't grab solid black color. This side is also pretty dark. Now we're gonna go and grab yellow color. And also this part of feet is also yellow. And the reflection guys we're gonna paint on a new layer. And also from this area we have peak, so it should be somewhere here. And here you shouldn't paint everything with details, no need to do that. So it will be just a reflection.
maybe slightly lighter because I don't want to paint dark water and you can lift your apple pencil from the screen it's completely fine And the water will start here. Great, but if you look at our picture here, we still have some watery splashes, so I want to erase some parts. Now let's return to water, to the layer with water, and let's add some lines here. Let's move to another part and this is sky and for sky I'm also gonna use another color probably light blue color because I want to separate and you need to keep it in mind this is a new layer now let's go and grab same colors that we used for uh, painting water also have another blending to coat too which is pour watercolor smudger water and sky I will duplicate it and this pretty lovely I will lower the layer a little bit and merge together duplicate it one more time go to hue saturation and brightness turn it to white and I will duplicate it a few times merge together duplicate merge together and merge together okay uh, now our layer is not transparent I'm gonna do the same with our bird together and merge together with a bird now this bird is not transparent as well I'll do same with this bird as well okay merge together duplicate it once again so I'm gonna create a new layer above our bird and I will press clipping mask and I will go and grab blue salted uh, brush go and grab dark not that dark 
I'm gonna add some uh, watercolor splashes here and after that I will go and grab actually bow watercolor bubbles let's make them slightly transparent okay perfect so now I merge together two layers and uh, same I'm gonna do with our water so clipping mask now we have the salted uh, effect all around and that's pretty nice I'm gonna merge it all of it together and now uh, our layer I'm gonna add more shades and I will go and grab freehand feather maybe 15% hue saturation and brightness and here we have also shades and it's pretty lovely and I'm gonna add some highlights just a little bit and it's lovely, very very lovely same I'm gonna do with the bird first of all I wanna make it more saturated like this 51% and lower uh, our reflection is pretty nice I don't want to change it and I'm gonna add some highlights to the bird add and feather 10% hue saturation brightness increase it merge together uh, our bird and sky and same we can do with this part so in lower part uh, guys you have two options I suggest you to duplicate it in case if you want to keep our previous selection and I will go and grab Gaussian Blur and Layer and just move it slightly maybe till 3 or 5 percent as you see our lower part not in a focus and, and blend some parts that are overlapping just a little bit because I want to create feelings that this is pretty authentic and we paint it all together just in like on one paper not on separate layers so we blend it one on each other well pretty nice and guys my last step is I actually wanna uh, cut the edges and make it in a beautiful way so what you're gonna do is just move it to the center Yep, and now we go to selection tool and press rectangle and try to cut it slightly maybe like this and after copy and paste and now we have uh, our beautiful uh, painting but also still here you see the edges are pretty uh, sharp and in this way we go to both thin uh, watercolor brush and use it as an eraser and now just try to erase some edges okay cool and my final step is uh, I need to create a new layer we have blue color and I will go and grab blue watercolor bubbles and erase some parts some bubbles and that's it this is the end of our class guys I hope you enjoyed my today's tutorial and now you know how to paint cute flamingo